a hot new trend in retail. Adult toys suddenly going mainstream. Some racy stuff even being sold at supermarkets. KPIX 5's Mike Sugarman did a little shopping. Do you shop where they sell sex toys? Well, we don't so much look at it as competition. If you shop at Good Vibrations Sex Shop in San Francisco, you do. He was polite. When the first Fifty Shades of Grey book came out, Good Vibrations saw a different kind of customer. I had a lot of husbands coming in looking frightened, saying, oh my God, my wife wants me to tie her up. What do I do? Um, and I would say, first thing you need to do is buy a blindfold because she can't see that look on your face. <laughs> and now that the movie is about to come out, she's seeing the Fifty Shades of Red again. Everybody wants to live out fantasies. Everyone wants to have a story to tell behind a, a whisper. Which is why the Hotel Diva in San Francisco has a special Fifty Shades of Grey package, which includes a special package. Is there anything in there I can show on family television? Yeah. Is this ping pong? Or is it make-believe? Sex shops, hotels, sure. But the real target of Fifty Shades marketing may be Target. Two luxury blindfolds, one silver and one black, ideal for couples who want to introduce light bondage. Here, next to the condoms and Advil, go figure, is the Fifty Shades blindfold. Should they be selling that at Target? I, no. Well, it doesn't really seem like a Target item. But things apparently are changing. At Albertson supermarkets, they are selling handcuffs and ticklers. The price of the Fifty Shades of Grey official pleasure collection, no peeking, $14.99. I'm looking forward to the corporate bookkeepers getting my expense account. In Colma, Mike Sugarman, KPIX 5.